Joe and Mac is a story of two cavemen. Two cavemen who are whores. A platformer from the arcades that was ported to home consoles, Joe and Mac are out to use their caveman ninja skills to take down all the bad guys who oh so mercifully stole your cave chick straight out of your own hut by dragging them by their hair. <laughs> wow, I can't believe they actually put that in a video game. Actually, Nintendo didn't put it in their port. Remember, this is during the whole Mortal Kombat thing where this was replaced with this. Simple, straightforward two-button controls, Joe and Mac is best played with a buddy, which is good because you have two ways to do so. Two-player or super two-player. Two While regular two-player is all right, you need to be good friends in the super game because you can actually hit each other. So if your friend's a noob, you can just lay into them mercifully, letting them know how much they suck. But if you're a well-oiled machine, you can actually reach things that were previously unattainable in the regular two-player mode. That's why it's super! Now you can get some small power-ups to help you dismantle bosses like this. Whoa, oh my god, he just hit his tusks off! Holy shit, there goes his snout! Gross! Once you beat the bad guys, you are rewarded with your hose, and you get some as a reward. What does a guy do who did less work? Cries. Unlike the girls in Joe and Mac, the controls are actually a little tight. But if you can get past that, it's actually a pretty good platformer. Joe and Mac gets the stuttering Craig seal of quality. <laughs>